um, location looks a little odd to you, that's because I am sitting on my bed in my bedroom. Um, I don't really have a desk or a workstation here um, because we've moved and we moved to a much smaller place. So yeah, I don't have a desk to sit in just yet. Um, I've been looking at a couple, but I haven't found one yet. So I kind of wanted to sit down and make some bracelets. I usually make them um, at my station, but I didn't feel like being in there. I wanted to be comfortable because I have a lot of bracelets to make. And I thought it'd be a good idea for me to make them alive so you guys can um, join in and watch me. And if you had any questions or, you know, whatever, just keep me a little company. Um, but right now I'm trying to focus. So I'm facing away from the television. I'm facing towards the window so I can get them as much done. Because I find that although music and TV helps me to concentrate, it can also distract me because I get caught into the TV show or I get, you know, twerking. And then I end up not doing what I have to do because I'm caught up doing that. So, yeah. Um, my goal for this weekend was to make 50 bracelets. But considering the fact that I didn't make any bracelet yesterday, I'm either going to have to make all 50 bracelets today or I'm going to have to do as many as I can today and push that deadline back to tomorrow. Now me, I don't, um, I don't want to push this deadline back tomorrow. I kind of want to just knock out the 50 today if I can. But, you know, I am a mom and I have stuff going on so I can't spend as much time as I would like making my bracelets. So, I can only do what I am allowed to do when I'm allowed to do it. <laughs> um, my kids are all still sleeping now. They're sleeping in on their Sunday. So, I'm trying to get done as many as I can while I have the time. I love these beads that I'm working with. Um, these are the clay beads. So I love the color combinations of them. And so I kind of want to make as many variations with these bracelets as I can. And I kind of want to knock these out of the way first and then start going on to other um, types of bracelets. So, yeah. These colors are really pretty and they're reminding me a lot of like Easter and springtime. So I'm definitely having fun putting them all together. Nope, I think I did that one. I think I want to do This is my first time um, working with these types of beads. Prior to this, I hadn't. So the process of making these bracelets have been fairly easy. I just had to get used to how to pick up the beads because they are so small. You have to make sure you're picking them up groups at a time. You cannot go one by one with these types of bracelets. You have to make sure that you are <laughs> picking them up. Oops. At least I try to do at least four at a time. Sometimes it doesn't work out that way. But that's what my goal usually is to get four at a time. So the idea behind these bracelets is to make them like two tones. So like two different colors and then I have like these cute little crystal beads to be with them. And I think that I kind of like set it off. Um, I'm going to sell these and I'm not sure the next variation because I have, this is my third variation that I have came up with for these um, beads so far. And so... My next variation, I'm not 100% sure of what I'm going to, or what it's going to be, but I do know that it's coming because I have so many of these beads, and these beads pretty much are easy to work with to the point where I can just do so much with them. So I know I have some more ideas coming up for these bracelets. But I will say it takes me a while to do these bracelets. I think... 
I recorded myself making braces last time and the footage was like almost 12 minutes and during the entire video I only made one bracelet and it wasn't like I was talking like I am now I literally just pressed record and just recorded myself making a bracelet and that footage was like almost 12 minutes and I'm like wow and that's for one so I am <laughs> trying to get 50 done today so yeah this is about to take a while um out of the 50 i have three made so far yay three well actually no i have two made so far and this one right here that i'm working on now will be the third um <laughs> so that's that that gives you an idea of where i am in the process but this um, small business owner life, you got to sacrifice a lot. You have to do a lot. You have to put in a lot of time and energy and a lot of effort because it takes a lot. Um, what I'm learning from it, because I have been in business for almost two years. And what I learned from it is when you are a new business owner and a small business owner, nobody knows you. You know what I'm saying? Nobody knows who who you are and you really have to convince them um to shop with you because depending on your product they will always find somewhere to somewhere else to try to compare it to or somewhere else to try to shop you have to really show your audience as a small business owner like why they should shop with you because it's easier for them to go to a bigger well-known trusted brand you're trying to get there you're trying to get them to trust your brand so you have to really put in the work in order to do that. Am I picking up the wrong color? I'm not. Okay. And so when you're starting off in business, things aren't going to go, ooh, I think of a business idea. I start the business. I'm a millionaire at the end. No. You have to do a lot of work. You have to promote your business. You have to work at your business. You have to keep going on days when you have sales, on days when you don't have sales. On days where business is looking good. On days where business looks like it's just not going to be good at all. You have to keep going, especially if you believe in yourself and you believe in your brand. And that's definitely... Oh, I did do the wrong color. I looked at it and everything. So now I have to take it out. I'm glad I'm doing this live because this sometimes happens. This sometimes happens with these because I will say that the colors um are so close like it'd be like a, a little bit off in the shade but the colors are so similar that it's easy to grab from the wrong stack because there's so many of these i think it's like 24 colors or so i don't know but it's a lot of colors so now i have to redo this part I I have a lot of confidence in my brand and I feel like I speak to this every time I make a video um because I know that my business can and will succeed because like when I like I said before when I say that I have the five bangles and bracelets in the game when I say that I mean that just know that this is not a joke this is not a game this is not a lie and I do have on shorts <laughs> I got on shorts I'm not just out here naked you know but I got thighs. I got some thunder thighs. And they they be out sometimes. So it is what it is. I cannot believe I'm really sitting here with all the thighs out though. Like I will tell you that. That's crazy. But when I say that we have the flyest bangles and braces in the game. I mean that. Like we do. We have the flyest bangles and braces in the game. And our, our bracelets, our brands, our whole idea... It's just going to grow and grow and grow. I feel like this is the first stage of us just growing. And I'm really looking forward to see how everybody takes to the rebrand. Um, I'm coming at my business from a different angle. I am trying to pretty much look at myself as a business owner from a consumer standpoint. If that makes any sense at all. Like I'm looking at myself from a consumer standpoint and i'm like would i buy from this business will i support this business if i seen this come up on my timeline would i even be interested to go over to the website to even take a look forget the website am i even 
interested enough to where I'm going from your post to your profile. And that is what I'm thinking about whenever I make any of my content now. Um, and so far, I will say it has been improving a lot. My, my content, in my eyes, I feel like it has been improving a lot. And I definitely feel as though I have been improving with getting in front of the camera, getting more comfortable getting in front of the camera. And I feel like that has definitely made a big, um, a big impact on how everything has been going with my business as well. Um, if you guys aren't familiar, I am doing a 30 day posting challenge and this video is actually going to, this live is actually going to be part of that posting challenge because I'm just going to set it to premiere um, a little bit after this live today. And this is going to be day 24, 25, I think, 24 or 25 of the series where I'm just going live. But I found that throughout this whole experience, I have to get comfortable talking my shit, if that makes any sense. Because the biggest part of being a business owner, like I said, you have to convince these people to shop with you. If you're a small business owner, 90% of your job is going to be talking your shit. And you have to talk your shit about your business. You have to hype your business up. That is going to be 90% of your job. And you're not going to be realizing that until it actually gets time down to the the point of making sales 90 percent of your business is going to be you talking your shit because nobody knows who you are nobody knows what you bring nobody knows your value you have to talk your shit you have to show that shit you have to show up and you have to show out and i throughout this 30 days i have been more and more comfortable talking my shit i've been more and more comfortable with my um my business and defending my brand and defining my brand and growing my brand and so with that i feel like once we reopen and especially i just have to stay on this route and when we open i feel like everything is going to work out fine and i'm so excited for everything because like i said i have a lot of confidence in my brand so i know that my brand is going to do big things I just got to continue to talk my shit and show. I have to show up every day. That's a big part of it because you got to talk it and walk it. You have to do it. So that is what I am doing now. I'm constantly showing up for myself more. I'm taking my brand and I'm taking my business more seriously. Because I saw a video of a small business owner and she was saying a lot of people aren't taking any small businesses seriously. And they're not treating their small business as though it is something that they want to finance their lifestyle. They're treating it like a game or they're treating it like it's a little side hustle. But for me, I'm like, no, I absolutely agree with that. I feel like I should not treat my small business like it's a hobby like it's a hustle like it's just something thrown off to the side when i am thinking about my business and thinking about my brand i don't want it to just be something that i do here and there and people be like oh yeah she makes bracelet that's the bracelet lady i don't want them to say that every now and then i want them to be like oh yeah she makes bracelets that's the bracelet lady let's go over here let's get some bracelets from her like she's fly bangles like do y'all know fly bangles everybody know about fly bangles like, Fly Bangles is going to be a household name. Like, I have daughters. I'm, they wear Fly Bangles and accessories. Everything you see on them, that's going to be me. Like, so I am living my life and I'm running my business as though I want it to be something that finances my entire lifestyle. And I have dreams for a big lifestyle. I feel like I was born rich, but I just didn't have the funds to match it in my bank account. But I'm rich. I'm rich, okay? So, that's why I'm about to start living. I'm about to have that mindset. And right now, that is requiring me to put in a lot of sweat equity. A lot of it. So, yeah. And I don't mind it, though. Like, I don't mind putting in the hard work. I've always been a hard worker. 
But now I'm just at a place where I don't want to work hard for somebody else. I want to work hard for me. I want to work hard to grow my business. I want to work hard to make me great and my family great and not make be good to make you great money for you you know what I mean like a lot of these businesses do not care about us at all they just care about making their money and I've learned that throughout the pandemic like the pandemic really showed me that and that's why I took the plunge to like just like start my own business because I'm like I know how hard of a worker I am and I know how hard I have ever worked at every company that I've ever worked for. And like I don't want to do that for somebody else anymore. I don't want to give all my time and my energy to somebody else. I want to give it to me. I want to give it to my family. I want to give it to my children. So yeah. That's why I am really taking my business seriously. I'm no longer sleeping on myself. I'm no longer doubting myself. I feel like a lot of the times I have a lot of imposter syndrome where I feel like, who am I to think that I can become a millionaire and have a business that I completely built from the ground up become a multi-million dollar business, to becoming a household name, to having, you know, everybody wearing your creations. And it's just like, who am I not to think that, though? Who am I not to think that? I can't help it if I'm, if I'm one of God's favorites. You know what I'm saying? I can't help it that he put that vision in me. All I have to do is live it. All I have to do is be it. And he's going to make everything fall into place for me because it's like, who am I not to think that? Who am I not to think that I'm the baddest? Who am I not to think that I'm not great? You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's something that we all have to live by. Instead of people getting intimidated by people having confidence in themselves or intimidated by people just trying to live the dreams that they know that they see for themselves y'all just gotta get that through y'all head and feel like that about y'all selves and it's just like for me I have a lot of people around me and I talk to them about my my business all the time I got family friends everybody like Everybody who talks to me, I'm going to talk about my daughters and I'm going to talk about my business. And if that is something that you do not want to hear, oops, <laughs> you got the you got the wrong person. Don't call me. This number you have dialed has been disconnected because I am really passionate about my family and I'm really passionate about my business. So you're going to hear about that from me. Okay. But um, yeah, everybody reacts to me talking about my business different. Um, I have a, my best friend, he, when I talk to him about my business, he's really supportive. He gives me a lot of ideas sometimes, or he really encourages the ideas that I drop on him. Like I just brain dump a whole bunch of random ideas on people at a time. Like I'm telling you, I sometimes have a lot of ideas and I just throw them at people. Like if I'm talking to you and I have an idea, I'm like, Ooh, so what do you think about that? And I'd be really interested in hearing what people think. And when I brain dump my ideas on him, he actually, like, gives me some type of feedback on my ideas. Um, and that really is helpful. He gives me some feedback. He uh, um, tell me what he thinks about it from, like, a consumer standpoint and also from a male standpoint. Because I feel like my business is more so geared towards, you know, feminine people or feminine presenting people. And, um, I feel like with him, he's giving it, giving me information from like a male standpoint. And for me, I think that's really important because I'm really trying to tap into that market as well, because guys can be fly too. I mean, like, I don't know who told you that you can't like, you know, I got a fly guy. So that is, you know what it is, but I have to tap into that market. But right now I'm not really focused on reaching the guy market as if I mean I'm not interested in reaching that market of our audience as much as I am in reaching my audience first because my core audience aren't males and I get that and I understand that and I'm okay with that so m males to me would be like a, a a broader audience but right now I'm trying to connect to my core audience like my core fly girls and the ones that really identify with me and my products 
So once I get that locked down, then I will more so worry about, you know, reaching the other markets. But yeah. I I'm really anxious to see how everybody responds to the rebranding. Um, I keep saying that I am excited and I am excited, but I'm very anxious as well. Um, nervous, everything, because I really want things to be different this time. I really want my business to be what I see that it is in my head. And I know that it is going to get there, but it's just like a lot of the times I am nervous. And I've been talking about this on my page a lot about how I get nervous because I'm afraid that everything is going to work out. Like I'm not nervous that it's not going to work. I'm not scared that it's not going to work. Like I know that it's going to work and I know that my business is, my company is going to be big, but it's just like, woo, girl. The process and the road to getting there is a scary one because especially coming through everything that I have went through, especially these past couple of years, like dealing with everything that I've dealt with and still kicking and screaming to make something better out of my life or make, you know, make things better in my life. It's really hard. And for me to be through everything that I've been through and to come out on top, it's going to be a brand new feeling and it's going to be really exciting. And it's going to be like a whole new me and a whole new version of me, which I'm excited for, but I'm nervous for at the same time. And I'm not going to say that come April 13th, everything's going to be better and I'm magically going to be this brand new person because it's like, no, the, that's not how the world works. This isn't a TikTok video. Like, you can't snap your fingers and... Can we skip to the good part? Like, that's not how it works. You actually got to go. You actually got to go through it. So, I know it's not going to be easy. And I know it's not going to be fast. Because it's all been a process up until this point. But it's definitely happening. And I'm really, really excited. So, but anxious. Nonetheless, I love the way that this one turned out. The pink and green. I'm trying to make as many cute color combinations for the two-tone braces as I can because I have so many colors to choose from. So I think this will be very pretty. But I like how this one has turned out. I love the pink and the green. And I like the little crystals that I chose. And actually, I wasn't even, these beads, these crystal um, beads that I bought, I thought they were something else. And they turned out to be these type of crystal beads. I thought the shape of them was different. But they are so pretty. And I feel like I did a really good job when it came to the color coordinations. Because a lot of the colors that are with the clay beads are also with the crystal beads. So I'm not um, having a hard time matching things up. Yeah, I've been talking about the rebrand this whole time. You guys, make sure that you are following us here as well as on all of our social media. I will leave all that information for you guys to check out below. Make sure that you follow us here and make sure that you subscribe to our email and text message list for our website so that you can get exclusive offers and sneak peeks of the rest of the five because I don't think that I'm going to be making of the rest of the bracelets, the different types of bracelets. I don't think that I'm going to be making those on live or showing you guys those. I'm going to keep those hush hush so you guys can just, you know, build up y'all anticipation. I think what I'm going to do is, yeah, I think I'm going to just go ahead and keep that little hush hush. So if you guys are interested in some of the behind the scenes and you are interested in seeing more of me doing videos like this make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel and make sure that you are following us over on our social media platforms so like our tiktok our pinterest um our tiktok our pinterest our facebook make sure you guys are following us over there we got four bracelets down i have been on live for half an hour and i think i've only made two bracelets which is crazy but yeah, check that out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Make sure, yeah, like make sure you guys sign up for the email and text messages so that you can get exclusive perks 
and discounts and deals now i'm not gonna have a huge discounted blowout sale for our grand reopening i don't think that i'm gonna have a big sale until probably i think i'm gonna do like little sales here and there but like a big big sale i'm not gonna do that until probably black friday that will be our biggest sale so um as far as the perks that come with our grand opening our grand reopening you guys have to make sure that you sign up for our text message subscriptions and our email subscriptions so that you can get those because i'm not going to tell you guys those here partly because i don't have them mapped out yet or planned out yet and two you gotta leave something to the imagination so yeah i think i'm gonna make one more bracelet on here and then i'm gonna get off because I don't think my kids are going to be sleeping that much longer. And plus, your girl is hungry. And I do not want to be on here just smacking in y'all's ear, eating whatever I'm about to be eating. Hell yeah. I love making bracelets. The whole process of making bracelets is like therapeutic to me. Especially when I'm able to just relax and do it like now because the girls are sleeping. It's really easy for me to get caught up just making bracelets. Because... It's just really therapeutic. Mm. But I am very excited for our rebrand because I know that it's going to be bomb. Uh, this is even, this right here, what I'm making right now, is not even the tip of the iceberg for the bracelets or the types of bracelets that I'm going to be having come out. And I'm super duper excited for it. Um, you guys, like I said, in a lot of my um, content, I make everything by hand. I make everything like as you guys can see like i'm making my braces right now i make them so everything that you see is going to be coming from me it's going to be handmade by me now as far as me trying to add non-bracelet items on the website i'm thinking about that i haven't decided what product or you know what products i want to add that are non-bracelets yet but i definitely do want to add at least one for the um, rebrand reopening but everything on my website is 100% handmade by me and I am super excited for you guys to see it because it's like I'm putting me out there and the creations that I'm making and I feel like that's why I take so much pride in making my creations because I feel like I'm putting a little piece of me in every bracelet that I make because it's handmade by me and that's why I'm trying to and that's why I stay in good spirits when I make bracelets. I never make bracelets when I'm angry. I never make bracelets when I'm sad. I never make bracelets when I'm in a bad mood. I always make bracelets when I'm happy, when I'm full of energy, when I'm full of life, when I'm full of creativity, when I'm in my greatest moods. Because I believe that energy transfers and I feel like I want to put great energy into everything that I make so that when you guys get it, you're going to feel good as well. Yeah. And that might sound corny for some people, but honestly, that's how I feel because you can be in the best mood of your life, best mood of your life, and somebody can come in and take that mood away from you simply because they're having a bad day. And I feel like that energy has to come from somewhere. Oh, right. It came from them. They took your good energy and good vibes, and then they left you with the crappiness. And we ain't doing that. I'm giving you guys good energy because with everything going on in the world, we all need it. I'm good energy. I don't like the way these reds look. They look too similar. It doesn't look like a two tone, so I'm gonna have to take that out. Because uh, you guys remember, I said that the colors are so similar. Like I wanted to do a play on two reds, but they are too close in colors for me, and I do not like that. So I think I'm just gonna take that out. I'm not sure what color I want to add with this red, but I like it, so. Hmm. See, this pink hitting on 
with the same pink I just used with that green. I think that'll be pretty. I got this pink on here. Yeah, I think I'm going to put this pink. Okay, I think I like that a little better. Yeah, I think I like that a lot better. Yeah, okay. I like what I did there. Sometimes you gotta hype your own self up because, hey, you're not always gonna have somebody to cheer for you. And then at the end of the day, it don't really matter what nobody else thinks anyway. It really matter what you think. You believe in yourself. You believe in your art. You believe in your creation. And it's gonna go from there. Because if you don't believe in yourself or if you don't believe in what you do, why do you think somebody else is going to believe in you? Why do you think somebody else is going to support you you don't even support yourself? Like, come on. But this is so cute. Yeah, I like that. I feel like I am late to the clay bead um, game because I feel like that was popular already. But me, I have never been a trendy um, person. I've never been a trendy person. I've never been one to want to be a trendy person. Like, I see some trends that pique my interest that I love and that, you know, I'm going to try it out. But it's like, for the most part... I always ride a wave after or before it was cool. I never really ride it when it's cool. Um, like, I feel like when I went natural, when I went natural, it was, I went natural in 2012. And it was already becoming, like, a big thing, but not really. And then it was, like, right after I did my big chop, it was crazy how I was looked at so differently by a lot of people and it was weird and then it was like maybe like that next year everybody like more and more people started doing their big chops and starting their natural hair journeys and stuff like that and then it was just like now when it comes to my locks I kind of feel like I did my locks right when it became popular because I feel like with me I did my locks during um quarantine i did them during quarantine and i felt like hey i always wanted to do locks we about to be in a walking dead situation with this unknown virus killing people you know so let's go ahead and do this hair up because we preparing for war we're preparing for battle <laughs> and i think we're then a lot of people actually started to look into locks and started locking their hair around that time too but like now people are starting to cut their locks i guess the trend of having locks is kind of like dying down which i will talk about in a full video so look out for that and make sure you guys are following this channel so that you can catch that make sure you're following the fly natural but yeah so like when it comes to like trends i've never been one to try to follow a trend i kind of do what i want to sometimes i catch on to certain trends but a lot of the times i either get them before or after and I always make it my own, and I always make it my type of stuff. And I think that works out better for me because I don't want to follow trends because of the simple fact that if it's trendy, you can get it from everywhere. And I know that 
my bangles and my bracelets are you know unique because they're 100 percent handmade and you'll never find them anywhere else because you know they're come from my imagination and my creativity but i don't want to make a trend what everybody else is doing not not all the time i like my stuff to be unique and i like my stuff to be a little different so but as far as these beads i was kind of nervous about them as well because i felt like they was too small and i don't know how they will fit into what i was trying to do with the brand and how it was going to fit in with the aesthetic but i like it i feel like i can really pair these up with a lot of things i can make them look stacked on their own just by wearing a bunch i can wear them with something else and kind of dress it up a little bit yeah because I, I do admit it, these are a more more uh, youthful, more like childlike, I should say. But you could dress these up a lot of different ways. And I am going to have like a series come out to show you how you can stack your wrist with these. Um, because I do think that it is important for me to showcase how to wear certain things. Because I just want you guys to know that you have options when it comes to how you stack your wrist and the things that you buy from my website are very versatile you can add them to anything you can wear them all together you can wear them separately like my bangles and braces are very versatile and yeah i want to show you guys that there's nothing there's no wrong way that you can do this so i definitely have that series coming out and it's going to be on this channel so if you guys are interested in how i'm doing that make sure you follow make sure you follow subscribe to the channel my goal is to get monetized on youtube by the end of this year um i want to walk into 2024 with monetization on all of my social media honestly i want to be monetized and making money from all of my social media platforms plus my bracelet business so yeah i have a lot of work to do Definitely have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of content, but I'm trying to figure out a niche. I'm not sure if I really want to be niche down, though. Because right now, I'm really like small business and locks. So that's kind of my, you know, my niche, I guess. So, hmm. I just have to bring those audiences here. That's what I'm working on now. Like, I have to bring a lot of my um, small business audience over from TikTok and get them here on my YouTube. Because for some reason, like I said, because I've been following my, my journey, my 30-day posting challenge, like I said that um, YouTube hates my small business content. And I do still kind of feel like that. But it is getting better, I will say. Um, my views are starting to pick up a little more since I've made that video. So I'm not going to say that it was all for nothing. But it definitely helped me when I made that video. So, yeah, I think that I have to start promoting my YouTube channel more so on my other social media platforms as well. I usually don't try to cross promote on other platforms. I usually just do it here. Like, hey, you know. But it's harder trying to grow my, my audience here than any other platform. I will say that. YouTube is tricky. YouTube, I think, when I first started my channel, it was geared toward me being a flight attendant with natural hair. So I had a lot of girls or guys that were interested in becoming flight attendants following me at the time for that content. And then I decided to lock my hair. And I mentioned that on a lot of my videos during my flight attendant um, videos that I was going to lock my hair. So I had a lot of people follow me during that journey when I was flying and during the journey when I started locking my hair. And now that I'm introducing small business into it, it's just kind of hard because I didn't have that audience before. So I'm trying to grow that audience here. And this bracelet is almost done. It's so pretty. I did say that bracelet making was therapeutic. And it is. But it's also very time consuming. 
because I've been on live now for 40 minutes and I think I've only made three bracelets. Hey Brie. My daughter just woke up and looked at me crazy, but now I don't know what she's doing. She's like a zombie. And Carrie had to move that before she moved her foot the wrong way and knock everything that way. This is what I have so far. <laughs> so I have five bracelets and 45 more to go. <laughs> so yeah, this is going to be like an all day project. Um, I'm going to see if I can get a couple of videos out of this. And I'm going to see how much I can actually get done by the end of this day. Because, yeah, 45. 45 more to go. <laughs> but I am going to get off now because I am starving. And I need to go find me something to eat. And then I'm going to come back and do some more of this. But you guys, make sure that you are following the channel. So that way you can keep up with our rebrand. And make sure you follow us on all of our social platforms. I will leave that down below. And make sure that you shop Fly Bangles on April 13th when we do our grand reopening and i will catch you guys in the next video or the next live peace